Welcome to Tales from Western New York. I'm Joe Brown. Yo, what up? Mick Flo here. Oh, wow. First of the year. A lot has happened. Yeah. What did you do for New Year's? You went to some party? Yeah, we went to a I went to a party in uh, Penyan, which is... Uh, Where the fuck is Penyan? Um, it's it's south of Rochester. It sounds like you're eating Italian It's food. right on uh, the Kiuka Lake. K-E-U-K-A -E Lake. Kiuka. No, 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 no. Not Kiuka. That's Kiuka. Some Amish people out there? There's Mennonites, yeah. Mennonites? Mennonites, yeah. Oh, Mennonites are cool. Yeah. They can use horse, tools? Horse and buggy, they can use yeah. tools, they can use electricity, but they got their own thing. They just do their own little off-the-grid yeah. shit. They're kind of cool. They're yeah. the ones that voted for Trump. You oh. didn't know that, did you? I did not know that, no. Yes. Um, me, for New Year's, I went Pokemon hunt. Then I watched Mariah Curry make a fool of herself. <laughs> did you hear about that? No, I saw J-Lo. So okay. So Mariah Carey was on the other channel, and what happened is she looked into her own song, and somehow the audio got mixed up, so she didn't even know her own song. You as an artist should not be lip syncing, for one. Right. Two, know your own song. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. You should know your own music. I mean, if you don't know the words to your own songs that you wrote, or that's what's sad supposedly about these, wrote. This new generation singers. Yeah. Everything's by computers. It's yep. not them really singing, they're lip syncing yep. at every concert. Yep. The only one I like is rock and roll because you know they're jamming and singing. Well, maybe. But there's What there... do you mean? No 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 let, let, let we me, want to let me we want to disturb, right? Oh yeah, they're very do they good. not sing? Okay. Let me clarify. Okay, okay, clarify. All right. So there are some bands out there and I'm gonna give you an example right now. Now obviously disturb. We saw them in the live. They okay. were great. They were really great. I actually like Sound okay. of Silence. One of my favorite songs. Yes, those so great. There's another band out there. They're called um, Judah and the Lion. And okay. then there is also Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats. Yes. These two bands not only write their own lyrics, but they write their own sheet music. Not many bands do that anymore. No. So, yeah, that's awesome. So there are some bands that do rock, alternative, country, whatever it is. But most bands, like you said, a lot of them, you know, pop artists especially, they're just synthesizers and pushing buttons and do lip singing yeah. that's not real music no not like the old rock and roll like guns rose acdc yeah. some old school Metallica. rock where you had to actually have talent on the guitar or on the drums or on the bass yeah. or you know have a voice talent talent we yeah tell you, you need talent so we're here to do the police blotter yeah we are the first of the year yeah we're gonna see what happened we're on new year's we're gonna start off 2017 2017 we're gonna call it chris elliott you know what that boy did today? He became level 28 in Pokemon. Oh, yes, yes. You He's know what a... that means to me? I don't care. Yeah, that, pretty much. But I did have a dip. I have a bet with him. First one oh, yeah, on 30. 30, yeah. Buys, buys the other one dinner. Yeah, you know what that means? That means he's oh. going to be Pokemon hunting every single day, all day long. You Is know he what? off tomorrow? No, he works tomorrow. That's good. But you know what I'm doing tomorrow? Pokemon hunting. There you go. I got to beat him. <laughs> I want my dinner. Taco Bell. <laughs> There you go. Get him. Get him to buy you some tacos. So, please, Blotter. Uh, Monday, December 26, an anonymous person reported an underage drinking party in Keller Avenue. Why would you do that? I've had many drinking parties back in the day when I was a kid. My yeah. parents would say, as long as they stay in the house, they're all set. Yeah, we used to go to my dad's house, chill in the backyard, play cards, drink beer. And I brought you <laughs> your drinks there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I've known you a long time. Yeah. God damn. And we reported years. two men. Walking down McKinley Avenue from Myron Avenue toward Delaware Road, who said they met up and then separated and are carrying a duffel bag, trash bag, a backpack. She said she's not sure what they're doing. Maybe they're killing people. Trash bag, duffel bag. Mm, or yeah, they're robbing you, people's you, houses. You, so it's good you call the cops. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. A summertime in Avenue resident reported a dog barking on the outside. Bring your dog in. It's too cold for that. Yeah. yeah, you need to bring your dogs in. It's cold outside. Who let the dog down? I still haven't that. That terrible yet. person let the dog out. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, December 27th, the Delwood resident reported that a vehicle has been idling for an hour. Wow. That's a lot of gas. Unless they're Pokemon, huh? Oh, that could be. Yeah, they could They could be sitting there cursing out their phone like I was. Damn it. Gotta catch that. Was that you? No, that was Delwood. Yeah. That was on Zimmerman. A Palmer Avenue resident said her boyfriend's back car window was smashed out. Ooh, yeah. You gotta call That's the cops good, plus yeah. the insurance company. Yeah. And put a plastic bag there. I saw some guy driving around with no window. I'm like, hey, when's that? 
Oh, it happened about a year ago when we popped it out, and I threw him driving around like that. I'm like, you're crazy. You live in Buffalo. <laughs> it is crazy. It's cold. A Delaware Avenue resident reported that a man was just pounding on the door and broke the mailbox off the wall. Whoa. That's pretty strong. That's Yeah. That's also bad. Yep. Definitely a good call. Huh? The Shepherd Avenue resident reported receiving harassing phone calls. If it's on your cell phone, block the people. Yeah. Yeah, that's really easy to do. You can block anybody on your phone. You can block everybody. I blocked this guy, Mick Flo, because I hate him. Yeah, I know. I hate, I hate Joe Brown, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bitch. What a bastard. I hate him because he lights the cults and the bells. You know, you know what they said? Since 2000, there's been more dildos thrown on the field than the Bills no, make him play on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did you see the thing about Reggie Bush? Uh, yeah, yeah. He had 12 carries for a negative three yards. So means, everybody, everybody in the world, pretty much, has, has had more, more rushing. rushing yards this year than Reggie Bush. So yep. you should feel good about yourself. You ran more than Reggie Bush did. <laughs> that is sad, really. That's, that's, think about that's pretty it. bad. Yeah. All the, but he has a touchdown too. That's a scary thing. Did he have a touchdown? Yeah. Or not? He had a five-yard rushing touchdown, and then somehow oh, yeah. managed to lose a whole bunch of yards. Wow. <laughs> Across the Avenue, resident reported that someone's. Slash two of the tires on her 2014 Suburban. Wow, that, that sounds like the McFlow curse. Yeah, that's pretty awful. It sucks running over nails or getting a flat yeah, tire. Or running over rocks like Elliot did. <laughs> oh, that too. A Wolbar Avenue resident reported that her vehicle was entered and a lot of chains taken. Lock your vehicle, people. I thought we were oh. talking about this. Well, I had even showed you last week the beeper. Come on, people, let's two go. Se two seconds, two seconds. A woman reported hearing a lot of screaming coming from a Washington Avenue resident. Maybe they're watching a movie. Surround sound people. Yeah, this is a thing. Thursday, December 29th, the Shepherd Avenue resident reported that a woman came to his door and said she was a process, process server. She threw some papers on the porch and then left in, in a pickup. Oh, if is you that are like you're getting sued or something, and somebody got if you're either getting a divorce or you're you're getting into a lawsuit, yeah, you can be served papers that way. But but there usually has to be handed to the person, right? Usually has not to be handed, thrown. not just thrown onto the porch. So that's kind of a terrible way to do that. There was a movie about that when somebody was a process. Oh, it was the Pineapple Express. Oh yeah, with yeah. Seth, uh... With Seth Rogen, yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty funny movie. After I watched it a couple of times, first time I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. A little strange movie, but it's funny. Uh, Washington Avenue resident reported that her neighbor is playing music too loud. Well, if oh, it's boy. not past 10 o'clock, you can't say a word. Yeah, you really Past can't. 10 o'clock, you can't. Friday, December 30th, a clerk in Elmwood Avenue business reported that an irate woman at the store called him a racist. Was she black? And then she probably was calling you racist. They always throw out the card. Well, if you're acting racist. But what if you're not? Then, well, then she's just a horrible person. But what if she wasn't a horrible person? She probably was. Oh, <laughs> man. An Avis person reported a group of people fighting in a parking lot on Elmwood Avenue. I highly doubt people are fighting on what happened. They were probably playing hockey or football. That was a warm day, I think, too. Yeah. A woman reported a man wearing ripped jeans and a blue jacket tried her doorknob. When she opened the door, he asked for someone who didn't live there. He was trying to probably break into your house, and once he saw you, he startled him. Good job. Good job calling the cops. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a good catch. Ooh, New Year's Eve, Saturday, December 31st. A man came into the Kemmerer Police Department to report he believes his neighbors are dealing drugs out in their home. Hmm. It's a possibility. Well, in this day and age, you got to survive. A man reported that he was struck by a vehicle while riding his bike. And you're okay? Oh, cool. As long as you're okay from that, yeah. But but yeah, definitely report it. Yeah. Was this at night? Did you not have strobe light on your bike? You need strobe if you were, light. If you're riding in all black and it's dark out, yeah, that would be stupid. A Shepherd Avenue resident 
uh, called the Kemper Police Department to report that she received a letter about Social Security in the mail and she concerned about it. Well, go to Social Security and talk to them. Yeah, I would call Social Security office. And there, my dad got the same thing because he just recently retired. And uh, I get letters all the time saying this is what I'll get if I retire right now. Yeah. And um, no, I'm not that old asshole. Well, you're pretty close. But no, uh, the Social Security, there was something with the benefits and they were going to cost more. So it, I would look into that letter, but uh, for something like that, you can't really call the police. You should call the Social Security office. People call the police about everything. Yeah, they pretty much do, yeah. Sunday, January 1st, a Tremaine Avenue resident reported that her roller derby bag was stolen out of her unlocked vehicle. Ooh, it's cool that you play roller derby, but uh, lock your vehicle. Yeah. Well, who's stealing people's roller skates? Yeah, that's a little strange. They wouldn't even fit you. Nah, I was going to say, you'd have to make unless, sure that was the same unless size. Unless it was the other team. They're trying oh, to have another play right. The Eugene Avenue resident reported hearing a loud noise. Then he looked outside and saw a white travel bag. Um, that's kind of odd. I don't know. Maybe somebody left you a travel bag? I don't know. That is a little strange. Hmm. Um, the countdown has begun. For? 15 days. 15 days. Today's the 4th. Oh, the countdown has begun. The end of the world is coming soon. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you know what happened today? There's a moving truck at the White House right now. They're starting the process of moving out. Oh. They're trying to kick him out of the border now. They are, they're repealing Obamacare right now, people. They've already started without even Trump being in there. So the first 100 days, Obamacare, go on. Probably. That's good. They need to restructure it. Yeah, so, I, I feel like the idea behind the Affordable Care Act, which was nicknamed the Obamacare Act because... Uh, Obama was the, the the Obama administration put it into into law, but the, it's not a bad idea because if, you, if everybody has health care, then it doesn't force all of the unpaid health care onto everybody else. It forces people to have their own health care so they get the bill. It goes direct, even if they can't pay it, it still goes directly to them. The burden isn't on everybody else to, to you know taxes higher and stuff like that, but. The law needs to be, or the Affordable Care Act needs to be modified because it it kind of also then creates a monopoly amongst the insurance companies because they can charge whatever they want to, they can raise your rates and low, you know whatever. So there, and there needs to be if if you need the health insurance, it's there to benefit you. If you don't, it should cost less, or there, you know there should be some variances yeah. to it. It shouldn't just we'll be see. forced on you. So it'll be it'll be good if they can at least rectify it. I don't know, or revise it. I don't know if they really need to pull it away or get rid of it, but definitely need to fix it for sure. Yeah. Um, did you hear about Cuomo? No, I did not. He hear wants it. to become Bernie Sanders too. He oh. wants to give free uh, college to everybody. In New so York State. So if you make anything un underneath one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, you can go to school for free. That's what he wants to do. Wow. And guess who's paying for it? We are the taxpayers. Yeah, tax hikes. Bernie Sanders too, you're a dumbass. Well, I'm not a big fan of Cuomo for a couple reasons. But um, He wants to tax you on drinks. Make sure you drink his, taxes. Yeah, that that's kinda dumb. I can't do that. Also his gun reform laws I don't agree with. Yep. Um But Okay, well, this could start an argument, but I'm not really like, I'm just saying that he, it's not necessarily a bad thing to allow maybe cheaper school, not necessarily free, but to give people the opportunity who are maybe not necessarily fortunate enough to make 200000 150000 a year, whatever, an opportunity to go back and, and get an education if they want to. They don't necessarily have to, but if they want to, that's their own choice. So maybe cheaper but i don't know about free free is just that just puts like you said it puts tax burden on everybody that's yeah. not really well this is a police platter the first one of january yeah first one of 2017 happy uh, new year everybody if you like this video subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up yeah i'm joe brown signing up mcflow peace